What's up, everybody? It's the Faces Caseworker back at it with another story. This story is a tragic story coming out of Jersey. Essex County Correctional Facility and showing the neglect of COs allowing a man to be beaten into a coma by seven other inmates. If you want to hear the story about the neglect of the correctional facility in Jersey, stop right here. This is the video for you. Not too long ago, an inmate by the name of Jay Sean Boyd, who was detained in inside of Essex County Correctional Facility for possession of a weapon, was violently attacked on video by seven other inmates. It left him gravely injured in a, in a coma after being beaten repeatedly with a microwave and a cooler in his head while he was already unconscious. All right. Now, if anybody watches boxing, what do they do when a man gets knocked out? They push the other boxer to his corner, allowing the person to uh, try to recover in the 10 count. Now, obviously, if you're already knocked out, that means you probably caught a blow to your head and uh, it might have touched your brain, which labels you unconscious. Now, if somebody keeps beating on your brain while you're already unconscious, this can induce multiple, multiple infractions. And number two, when your brain is already shut down and you're unconscious, um, you can create cause way much more damage. All right. Now, apparently, Jay Sean Boyd, uh, was attacked by these inmates now i'm not going to show the video because it's pretty violent but you can either google it or find the link it's newark essex county correction facility uh inmates charged for beating seven inmates charged for beating man all right now family is really really upset about this and they're trying to file lawsuits all right now apparently jay sean boyd had a mental illness he suffered from schizophrenia now, if anybody knows what schizophrenia is, schizophrenia can come with, is a mental illness, can come with symptoms such as delusions, uh, whether it be auditory, meaning that he's hearing voices, or hallucinatory, meaning he's seeing things. There's really no description of which one he suffers, but somebody with schizophrenia may not be in their right mind, as well as if they're in a correctional setting, it may uh, cause their symptoms to be worse, dealing with the stress and of confinement. <clears throat> Now, what's, what's worse about there in the video, which I'm not going to show once again, uh, one of the inmates slams a microwave on the guy's head. All right. The, the, the beating goes on and on and on. They hit him with a multi-gallon beverage dispenser, which I didn't even know they had in prisons. Were they having a picnic or something? Were they going on an outing in the, in the day room? Um, they had a water cooler, microwave, push broom, deck brush, and a trash can, which he was all beaten with. All right, the assault went on for approximately two minutes. But watching it looks worse because they're stomping on his head. They're doing all type of stuff and he can't even protect himself. All right, they even dumped uh, a bucket with cleaning solution onto his face. Now, what would make this guy do? What would make them do this to this guy? All right. Apparently, he just walked into the damn uh, detention, a uh, specific detention dorm or cell block. Yeah, just walked in there. So clearly... Something happened. They didn't like that he had a mental illness and they wanted him out of the dorm. All right. He may have refused to pack up and they commenced to assault him to get him up out of there. All right. Now, apparently this uh, cell block was the most dangerous cell block in Essex County Jail. It's the gang unit. So that means that these seven, seven individuals are most likely a part of a gang. Either the Bloods or Crypt or some local faction of one of those Bloods of Crypt sets. Since they were on that set and they all joined in, uh, I can't see any tattoos of which where they could possibly be blood. There's definitely a lot of Bloods in uh, Essex County Jail prison system and Essex County in the streets. But, you know, they could be any one of many gangs. But clearly they jumped him because they were a unified group. Now, these individuals did not come to jail together. All of them apparently had separate charges. Now, just looking up some of the individuals, some of these guys have very serious charges. All right. Tayshawn Armour, for instance. I just did a little Google search on him, and he was picked up, uh, charged with murder with two other guys in Newark. All right. 
He was arrested in Newark, uh, charged with two other individuals. Uh, apparently, uh, an individual was shot multiple times um, in Newark on St. Paul Avenue around March 9th of this year. And three of those guys were arrested. So clearly, uh, this guy here, Tayshawn Armour, hasn't learned his lesson since he's been incarcerated. He's still looking to uh, allegedly kill other people. So clearly, two-minute beatdown um, can definitely, with no protection to the brain, can leave somebody incapacitated. Now, clip Mr. Uh, what's his name again? White. Uh, is Jayshon Boyd, sorry, is fighting for his life, and apparently he's in a coma, all right, and he has not come out of a coma, and, and he might never come out of a coma, so right now they're all being charged with assault, I don't know if the gang of assault has been attached to it, but it probably should be, because clearly they were a gang, all right, now, usually certain places, states and cities define gangs as how many individuals, two to three individuals in, in a um, you know, coming together for one specific reason. And obviously this reason of this episode of a beatdown was to incapacitate Mr. J. Sean for whatever violation they felt he made. All right. Now, the family is once again pissed off that their uh, loved one was incarcerated and not protected. All right. Because when a person gets arrested, what do they say? You will be defined in the custody of... All right. And we all know custody means a person who is responsible for your health and well-being. So apparently Essex County did not protect Mr. Boyd's health and well-being. Um, clearly, he should have been housed in a mental health facility, not a violent gang unit. Maybe he was associated with the gangs. As we know, gangs can take advantage of the weak or mentally ill or developmentally delayed individuals. They'll use them to commit shootings and things because they can't really... Uh, make those type of decisions and they'll just follow whatever manipulation tactic the groups shall use all right now they're stating that there has been a lack of supervision and just like in new york city prisons are saying there's not enough adequate amounts of co's to be able to watch all of the cell blocks and you know unless they fix this problem it's not going to stop all right you can try to cover up things hide it but the truth will come to the light all right so, some more of a little story. Stay out of jail because despite as many correctional officers or cells or, or bars that they put you in to protect you from other guys, they still will leave you to get beaten down. This reminds me of the story of, of the documentary that Jay-Z put out. I think it's still on Netflix. Uh, of the inmate, uh, the kid who was locked up on Rikers for three years for a book bag. And uh, he was repeatedly beaten down by the blood gang members on, on his cell block. And uh, the CEOs really didn't do much to protect him. He was put in solitary confinement. He's one of the reasons why solitary confinement was stopped. All right. And but he went home eventually. And due to the depression and suffering of mental illness that he either had when he went in there or developed as a part of being in segregation and getting multiple, multiple beatdowns, he ended up taking his life in his parents home so we definitely hope that mr j sean boyd recovers from this and we hope that the essex county uh will do the right thing if he wakes up possibly dismiss his charges and you know his family sues and get some money all right this is terrible man stay out of jail it just gets worse uh, bad people do bad things and then apparently these seven guys still didn't learn uh they didn't learn their lesson as they await their court date or sentence uh, they felt it uh, important to try to take Mr. Boyd's life, all right? So if you want to be a productive individual, you want your kids to be, hit the subscribe button, follow the faces case worker. We're going to keep looking at stories like this and looking at the, the cracks in our system. And today is the correctional system that Mr. Boyd uh, is in a coma and almost lost his life for being beat down by seven inmates for two minutes straight, all right? Uh, I don't want to hold you guys a little long, but hit the subscribe button. I'm the Faces Caseworker. Until next time.